All right, guys, number five. We just keep on rocking and rolling. Try to get all these race shoes in your head. It'd be best if you uh, if you take some time to just chill out, uh, do a few questions one day, come back, do some the next day, um, and then you'll just hammer it in. It's good to take just a little break, let everything solidify, sleep on it, man. Once you sleep on it, everything starts to solidify in your head. Your brain makes sense of everything you've gone over the day. So take an hour each day and just slowly go over each thing that we're covering in class rather than cramming on the last day. All right, let's rock and roll here. We got the first one. We've got a hypotenuse of 60. We have an opposite of 57. At this point, that adjacent and opposite should be in your head. So let's see. We're looking for the adjacent. We know two other sides. So let's do Pythagoras. Right, so we've come to the conclusion that if we have two sides and we need to find the other one, a quick and easy way is to use Pythagorean's theorem. So we'll do second function, this guy. Then we'll do 60 squared minus the 57. Now, 57 is very close to the 60, so we'll find a small value here. Double brackets to close her up, 18.734. Okay, so we can see that again, we could figure out already, these two were close, so we knew that this adjacent was gonna be small compared to those values, 18.734. Okay, now we need to find the angle here. So, and you've got each question and you've got the answers in your handout. If you don't have the handout here, there will be a link to the website so you can download this PDF. Uh, but you can you have the questions and the answers, so just go back and forth and double check your values. Or just take this video and stop and start whenever you need to. Uh, now we need to find the angle. So what do we got? We've got the opposite and we've got the hypotenuse. So let's make use of sine in order to find that angle now. <clears throat> okay, so sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so we'll do the sine opposite is 57 divided by our hypotenuse of 60, close brackets. So what did I do there? I did the wrong thing, right? I'm on cruise control. So instead of doing the sine of 57 over 60, I need to do the inverse sine. So anytime that I'm looking for the angle, I need to do the inverse sine. Ah yes, 71.80 degrees. Uh, there's a 5 here, so let's round this up to 71.81. Okay, but you can tell right away, when we saw that decimal place, we know that that's not right for the angle. Right? We can see uh, a large hypotenuse, a large opposite, a shallow adjacent, right? So this angle is going to be quite steep. Okay, let's do the next one, guys. Okay, given values, adjacent is 32, opposite is 15, and we don't know anything else. So let's start with the angle. If we have the opposite and the adjacent, well, we can use tan in order to find that angle. Okay, if we're looking for the angle, remember we just looked at that, we need to do the inverse, and tan is the opposite over the adjacent, so 15 divided by 32, close brackets, gives us 25.11. Okay, we got two sides of the triangle. We need to find the third. So we'll use Pythagoras in order to do that. There's three different ways to find this. You can use Sokoto, you can use Pythagoras, whatever works for you. Okay, so let's do the square root, double brackets, and we're gonna do 32 squared plus the 15 squared, so both of the areas. Double brackets. And we're looking for a value that's greater than 32, right? 35.34. Beauty. We can see that this value is small compared to this. So as soon as we have a smaller value compared to the other value, the hypotenuse is going to be closer to this adjacent at 32. Beauty, we are rocking with this one. 
Okay, now that you know the ratios and everything, you can fly through these guys. Adjacent is 33. Hypotenuse is 51. Okay, so let's start off with the angle. Adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse looks like cos is a good way to go about it. Okay, so we're going to clear this out. We're looking for the angle. Second function, cos. Cos is adjacent, 33, divided by hypotenuse, 51. 49.679, so we'll do 49.68. Okay, what do we need? We need the opposites now. We have the larger area, 51. So we'll take this area, 51 squared, minus the smaller area, 33 squared, and that will provide us with the opposite value. Okay, second function. Is that the right one there, donkey? What's going on? Second function. Okay, so large area, 51 squared minus the 33 squared, little brackets around everything, 38.88. Okay, so that gave us this guy at 38.88, and the angle for this guy was 49.68 degrees. Beautiful. Okay, next one for D there, looks like we have the opposite and we have the angle. Okay, so the opposite is 21. The angle is 15 degrees. Okay, so let's see. Well, why don't we use sine in order to find that hypotenuse, right? If we do this guy, That'll be the opposite divided by the sine of the angle. Okay, so the opposite is 21 divided by the sine of our angle. The angle is 15 degrees. And that's 81.137, so we'll do 81.14. Right on. Okay, now we're looking for the adjacent. Well, the adjacent is going to be, um, let's see, the adjacent is going to be cos, right? Yeah, because we've, or no, let's see, given values here, we've got the opposite. Let's do tan. Okay, so let's see. We're looking for the adjacent, right? And we have the opposite and we have the angle. So let's see, opposite is 21 divided by tan of the angle. So tan of 15 degrees, we'll close the bracket there. And that gives us 78.373. So we'll go with 78.37. Excellent. Okay, next one, guys, we got uh, hypotenuse of 240. So 240, we've got an angle of 50 degrees. And we're looking for the adjacent. Okay, so why don't we use cos and refine the adjacent? Okay, so doing that, cos would be the adjacent. Let's see. Jason would be cos of the angle times the hypotenuse, right? So let's see, it's hard. So we got 50 degrees. So we'll do the cos of 50. Oh, let's go back and uh, put in our bracket there. So cos of 50 times our hypotenuse of 240. And that gives us our adjacent of 154.269, so we'll say 154.27. Okay, now we're looking for the opposite. 
Um, and for the opposite, we're going to use sine. Okay, so let's see. The opposite is going to be equal to sine of the angle times the hypotenuse. So we'll do sine of 50 degrees times our hypotenuse. Let's see, our hypotenuse is 240. And that gives us 183.85. Beautiful. Okay, two more guys. Let's see, next one we have the adjacent at 10, and we have a really steep angle of 80 degrees. Okay, so let's see, we're looking for the, let's do the hypotenuse first. If we're doing the adjacent and the angle and hypotenuse, we'll use cos. Okay, so for here, we've got cos. <clears throat> And we're looking for the hypotenuse, right? So that'll be the adjacent over cos of the angle. So adjacent is 10 divided by cos of the angle. Okay, we find that to be 57.587. So we'll say 57.59. Beautiful. Okay, then what do we need? We need the opposite now, okay? So the opposite, and we've got the adjacent, so let's use tan in order to find the opposite then. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. So looking at tan, we're looking for the opposite. That's tan of the angle times the adjacent. So tan of 80 times the adjacent of 10 gives us 56.71. Sweet. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Now there, there you can see that at a really steep angle, that's where the hypotenuse is very close to the opposite. Okay. Let's do this last one. We've got the hypotenuse at 120. For some reason, I'm on cruise control. I keep putting that degrees there. So we've got 120 there. And we've got 45 degrees. So this guy, we will know that the opposite and the adjacent will be identical. Okay, so let's do for the adjacent. Let's do the cos of 45. So cos of 45 times, oops, let's go back and put that bracket in, times our hypotenuse, our hypotenuse is 120. That gives us 84.85. And with confidence, we can do 84.85 over here. And just to double check that value, if we do the sine, of 45, which is 0 0.707 again, times our hypotenuse of 120, it'll give us the exact same value of 84.85. Excellent guys, keep it up, take a break before the next uh, page of questions, but if you've got all these guys, you're doing really well.